Could it happen? The PE teacher make United champions again of England? Whoa! Woo. I'm Ty Knight, this is TK24 Sports. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the show, make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification so you do not miss a show. Let's go! Yes, that's correct. United are now in pole position to win the Premier League for a very, very long time. But bear in mind, with the PE teacher, as I do call him, United fans, you now have to decide if you're in or if you're out. Are you all Oli in or you're all only out still? And if you are Oli in and you win the league, you can celebrate. If United win the league and you're Oli out, you cannot celebrate. You've given up that right completely by saying you're Oli out. Means you cannot celebrate the team's success. You cannot jump on that bandwagon and say, yeah, he was always the man. Done. Finish. Forget about it. But I'm going to tell you this. The next five games are crucial. They are crucial to United's title charge because there's 15 points up for grabs. Do they have the mentality to go on and get those 15 points? Those maximum 15 points going into February gives them a best chance of winning the Premier League. So let's break down these five games. This weekend coming up, they go against Liverpool, so I'm looking at it right now, and that's away at Anfield. Tough game, but they could do it. Then they go to Fulham. Not so much of a tough game, but could be a tough game. Could be the banana skin out of all of these games. Because Fulham, should I say Tottenham? Fulham are fighting relegation. Fulham came back and drew against Spurs. Fulham, whew, didn't they do something to Liverpool? Fulham, the team who are always most dangerous are the ones facing the chop. Then, the third game, Sheffield United, finding a bit of form, won the other day. One in the FA Cup. So, a title charge, relegation charge. But this time they're playing at Old Trafford, looking at it here. But that too could be the banana skin. Then on the 30th of Jan, they play Arsenal. Who are looking to try and make the top four. I'm not trying to win the league, they're trying to make the top four. They too are on a charge. They play Palace tonight and then should they win that game and then beat Newcastle, whoo. That's what, five Premier League games in a row? They can go to go for six? Then they get 18 points? They could be then in the conversation of a title charge, a top four charge. Then they play at Southampton at home, and Southampton are on a good run. So this is what I'm trying to say. So one, two, three, four, five. That is still correct. That's still five. United's next five games will show if they've got the bottle to fight for a Premier League title. Those five games are not easy five games. I guess you're just thinking, oh, well, I haven't really checked the fixtures, so these are going to be five games. He's pumping Oli up. Of course, why is he saying Oli and Oli out? Which one is he going with? These next five games will define Solskjaer's, I'll say, short-term legacy. It will define what Solskjaer's about. It will define what he can do and get out of these players. It will define the tactical IQ of this manager, if he has any, to get United 15 points, 15 maximum points, and these are not easy games. Let's read them out again. You're going to Anfield. Then you're going to Fulham, Craven Cottage. Then you're playing at home against Sheffield United. Then you're going to the Emirates, and then you're playing again at Old Trafford against Southampton. Look at those games. You're thinking they're easy. They are not easy at all whatsoever. These are hard games, and I want to see what United are made of. I want to see what the fans are made of. Are the fans going to keep on winning them on in social media? Are they going to keep on pumping them up? Are they going to keep on putting them down if they lose or draw the games? So it's down to the fans as much as it's down to Solskjaer as well to see what they're made of. It's down to the fans to try and get the 15 points from this team because these 15 points are maximum and they are very vulnerable. Valuable, not they're vulnerable, valuable. They're valuable points, valuable 15 points. So what's United about? What's the fans about? What's the board about? Are the board going to back Solskjaer and go out and get the two players and get rid of four? Two more players will make a difference. But where, Ty? Where? Where are we talking? We're not talking the midfield. You need another striker. You do need another striker. And you need one more wide man because Martial's not the guy. You've got to bench him. Greenwood is not the man. He is a prospect. Bradford can do his thing on the left, but you need another striker because Cavani can't do it all day for the whole season. Igalo, whew, no, no chance. And we know Marshall is right, so I'm, I'm coming back to this man again. He's not clinical enough, and you know that. Get one more wide man, get more one striker, and I think you're sorted. Your defence is cool, your midfield is okay, he's not great. You've got Matic, he's okay. You've got Fred, okay. You've got Tom McTominay, okay. You've got Van der Beek, where well, you don't know what he's about as of yet. 
But you do know you've got superstars when it comes to Fernandez and Pogba. They are superstars, and you know they're superstars, and you know Pogba is the heartbeat. It's not, it's not Bruno. Bruno's not your heartbeat. Pogba's your, your, your heartbeat. He's your pacemaker. He's the one that keeps things ticking along if you get him going. So it's down to see what United's about. Do they have the mental capacity to go and win this Premier League? Can they go and get the 15 points maximum to do that title charge? I can't wait to see if they can do it. But will they? United fans, leave your comments below. Other supporters, leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. TK24 Sports. See you soon.